All right, guys. I'm gonna show you how to turn a bolt window here. I'm using a 40 inch roll for this curb side window. Factory edges to be like this. So your factory edges are on your side, not your top and bottom like you would a normal car window. See how I guys I have this? My factory edges are kind of at a diagonal like this, going this direction, and over here going this direction. This way. Not top and bottom like a car window. And then we're gonna squeegee this stuff out here. Just so the film doesn't move around on us when we're cutting it. I always start here with this straight side. It's the easiest. And up here you can get rid of this excess only until it starts curving right there and then you want to stop it. Now when you trim your top, you only go to about right where the curve starts. Right here, where the curve starts. Stop cutting there. You're gonna stop your cut right about there where the curve starts. This is kind of like the flat glass stuff, you know, you didn't want to cut that area because it was just going to bunch up and give you a nasty cut. Okay, so that's all trimmed up. Now we're going to go down here to the bottom. Same thing with the curve concept. So you see now that we made that cut, the film is starting to lay down around this curve. The reason we turn our film with the factory edges this way is the grain of the tent likes to lay into that curve. If you try and shrink that curve, it just doesn't work out. You're gonna have struggle a lot.
You see now this is starting to just lay around this curve here. All right, I'm gonna get on the ladder. Finish her off a little bit. So right here, we're still in the curved part here. See how the film is just nicely laying around that corner now? This cut, you can take it all the way back to where this black this thing is going up all right do you see how the film is just naturally laying around this curve now you don't have a lot of fingers i mean you got one big finger here one big finger up here that's literally all you're gonna have to shrink when you get into here. But we're gonna move these fingers over there because that's where our factory edge is when we shrink. We can't shrink up and down. So now, when you're at this point, you're gonna go ahead and take just a little bit off the top of this guy. You wanna leave it long there, and you wanna leave it long on this side as well. So now, you gotta think about it. This glass is a quarter inch thick. When we take this pattern to the inside, if we were to trim it all up at this on the outside, the pattern is going to be a quarter inch bigger on the inside. <coughs> and you take it to the inside. liner facing in now I'm kind of just manhandling this film because it's not going to be staying on this boat so I don't really give a fuck if it gets creased or anything like that Now that we're in here. You're gonna move it up. So you're gonna recut this whole top. I leave like a an eighth of inch of a gap to a quarter inch gap here on this bottom. You're never gonna see the light gap from inside here. Um, if you really wanna be picky about it, you could put a piece of black vinyl on the outside, but it's so low and deep in these boats, you will never even see that uh, little light gap. This is gonna help your install because if that film is running into that rubber, you're just gonna keep sucking up water, keep sucking up water, sucking up dirt, all that good stuff. So, now that we're at this point, <clears throat> we're gonna, this bottom is always gonna be long, even though you cut it. So, in here, you can either mark it with a Sharpie and cut it on your peel board. If you don't have enough room when you got like big, you know, GPS devices and stuff like that over there. But here, I'll just cut it by hand real quick. Yeah, do 
Hmm. Okay. Now that's all laid. See, that's just laying up real nice in that curve now. Now on this side. Now you can't get all the way down in there with that angle of the knife, so switch up your cutting direction. Okay. So there's that. It's perfect. You know, no light gap on that area at all. And we know it's going to fit because we're already on the inside. Then you're going to take this part up here. You got to cut a little bit at a time because it is curved. <laughs> and we're still gonna and you might have to recut your whole top up here just because we did move it up you know from the bottom Normally I would take this pole off, but we're not.